Welcome to A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care. I'm Vanessa Keaton and today we're going to talk about Casey's Law. So in the state of Kentucky, if you have a friend or a loved one who is struggling with addiction but who refuses to get treatment, you can actually petition the courts to have a judge sign an order to make sure that this person will have to go to treatment. So today we have with us Morgan Sexton. So welcome Morgan. Thank you for having me. And so I know that your last recovery attempt actually came by way of Casey's Law. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. I mean, how did that feel for your family to have Casey's Law due to treatment? When I first got, um, the sheriff came to my house and served me the paperwork. And when I first got that, he, the sheriff said, please don't run. And I said, I don't want to, I'm tired. So my family kind of gave me, not that I couldn't do it on my own, but they gave me the resources to go to where I needed to go. So whenever he handed me that paperwork, I, I was so tired at the time, I was ready to go with him. So I went with him and I was upset, of course, even though sure. I was ready to get sober, I was still very upset just because it was my family. It kind of hurts a little bit. I was like, I just cannot believe my sister would do this to me. Um, so th that came and those emotions came and they sat for a very long time, a few months. But after that, I just can't, I can't even tell you how grateful I am for Casey's Law and what that means to me. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure that that was really hard for your sister to make that decision to actually Casey's Law you to treatment. Um, did that affect your guys' relationship in a negative or positive way? Um, not in a negative way. She said, and I, I remember this, and my dad said it too, because they did it together. My dad said, you can go to jail or you can go to treatment or you can go back to jail or you can go to treatment and you can go back and forth until you make a decision on what you want to do. And I think then after I let that sink in, I was like, that really is what I need to do. I'm either going to go to jail or I'm going to go to treatment or I'm going to die. Yeah. And they didn't want me to die. So I made the choice that I'm going to go to treatment. I'm going to do what I need to do. And I think that was a turning point for myself and for my family. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I love that. I love that. You know, I know I talk to a lot of families on a regular basis and they're like, I know I need to Casey's Law, my loved one, but I just can't do that. You know, it's, I'm, it's hard for the family to do, but you're saying that it's the best thing that could have ever happened to you. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if you have, if, if there's a family member out there today who has someone who's struggling with addiction, what would you tell them? I would just tell them it's okay for them to be mad at you. Let them be mad. Um, it's okay to, to have those emotions, give them some time, and they'll get over it as long as they stay sober. Because I promise you, not only and my sister and I are so close, my dad and I are so close, and I know that that is also for me getting sober, and they got to watch me get sober in the whole journey. But just don't give up. Just do it. You're going to save their life at the very end of it. It just looks so, at the time, it just looks so hurtful. But at the end, it's it's huge. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for You're being welcome. with us today, Morgan. And back to you in the studio.